the best American buffet ever, featuring all your southern favorites, catfish, fried chicken, green beans, all the above? All right, listen, well, it is the self-proclaimed number one buffet in the USA, guys. Outside, we are at a Golden Corral. So now, before you stop, this is the Hermitage, Tennessee, basically Nashville, Tennessee, Golden Corral location. Now, I love me the Golden Corral, but I've been to many locations all over the United States, and I'm not gonna lie, they range from either being really great to really, really, really not great, or at least mediocre. A lot of them are mediocre. I was here about a week ago, and this was the best Golden Corral experience I've ever had. So that was on a Saturday. We're here about the same time on a Wednesday, about 7 p.m., so we're gonna see it is a little slower. But I'm serious, the best Golden Corral I've ever had. The ribs they had were absolutely amazing. Can you believe it? I had amazing ribs here. Actually better than even what I had in Kansas City at one of the most absolute famous barbecue joints. Their fried chicken was absolutely fire, it was so fresh. Their catfish was amazing. Uh, recently I also went, again, it wasn't just, you know, my like, I haven't had it in so long. I was literally just at one in Independence, Missouri the other day, and it sucked. At least like, it was like a five out of 10. This was a 10 out of 10, so let's go see if we can repeat that experience. Is this the best Golden Corral ever on Earth, or did we just luck out that one day? Let's go find out. I don't know who your team is, but with Super Bowl 58 coming up, I teamed up with DraftKings. And why? Because right now, all new customers are going to get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you place your first $5 bet on anything. This is the last weekend of the year to bet on football if you didn't know. So if you're wondering what DraftKings is, the DraftKings Sportsbook app is a place you can do all your sports betting. And if you're wondering what you use your $200 in bonus bets on, you can easily combine multiple bets together from Super Bowl 58 for a shot at an even bigger payout. And for those of us, we already signed up for DraftKings. You can make a bet on Super Bowl 58 and get a bonus bet back instantly in the amount of your initial wager. Max reward varies. And if sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry, you can still join in on the fun in the DraftKings Daily Fantasies and have a shot at winning cash prizes. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. And remember, new customers, use my code Hansen, H-A-N-S-E-N, -S and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly so that's promo code Hanson and again all customers that's bet on Super Bowl 58 are bet one get one instantly and that's only at DraftKings the crown is yours and this is what the buffet is looking like got some pastas we have some potatoes it's our catfish right there we have some other fish which is a Kind of like a beer batter, interesting. Fried shrimp, two different varieties, hush puppies. We have a kind of like paella, chicken, shrimp, rice. We have some corn in the cob. We have a lovely looking pot roast. We have ourselves some french fries. We have ourselves some chicken tenders. We have ourselves some Bourbon Street chicken, which is kind of like Chinese. We have ourselves some cabbage, some beans, some ham. Here we do have steaks to order, so you can all get your preferred likeness. We do have some little rib things there. We have the kind of longer cut ribs, so whether you want little back cuts or the portion they'll do for you. We have green bean casserole, looks extra cheesy. We have some marshmallow and sweet potato casserole. Here we got some smoked pulled pork. Smoked, smoked pulled pork, I like it. Baked beans, baked barbecue chicken, cheesy smoky potatoes. That actually sounds really interesting. Interesting. Here we have some fried chicken livers, we have some fried okra, we have some Brussels sprouts, we have some um, uh, collard greens, we have some meatloaf, we have some uh, southern style black beans, we have some fried chicken, eh, I don't know, hopefully we get some more, we'll get some more. We have some broccoli, cheese sauce, zucchini, we have some steamed fish, steamed carrots, we have some green beans, some buns, mashed potatoes, stuffing, roast history style chicken. Over here we do have some fried jalapenos, uh, some taco meat, some refried beans, Mexican rice. We have chips and churros. We have some different soups. We have more soups. We have potatoes. Then we have the salad bar. You see some melon. We got some 
uh, other melons, all that stuff. Here are all their kind of pre-made salads, some macaroni salads, coleslaw, seafood salad, and then all the other accompaniments for the kind of general, you know, salad bar. It looks okay. It's like reasonably stocked, so yeah. All right, so we aren't in the prettiest corner of the restaurant, but I don't really care. Um, I'm king to eat. I'm just eating normally. Uh, this could be my full meal for the day in one, basically, sitting. Um, so what I got, I got some fried chicken, some pulled pork, some green beans, some kind of vegetables from the pot roast, some pot roast, and some a little piece of rib. I'm gonna wait, they got some more ribs coming up. It was really good the other day. Anyway, long story short. Um, then I actually also have some like specific accompaniments that I brought in. Obviously, these are not normal. I uh, like a little heat, so I got some ghost pepper powder. I have uh, a hot sauce that somebody gifted me, which is pineapple. It's a Bravo. It's not bad. Um, of course, in the restaurant themselves, they serve Texas pea and ketchup, which I love. I also got some barbecue sauce. My personal favorite sauce mix is ketchup. Ooh, that's probably a lot of too much of ketchup to be honest. And uh, Texas Pete. So I'm gonna mix that on up. It is absolutely one of my favorite mixtures of all time. Ketchup and hot sauce, it is just great. I'm just eating normally. I'm gonna eat what I want, the portions of food that I want, the pieces of food that I want. I didn't even look at desserts. So I'm not gonna try desserts because I don't eat desserts. But try these green beans. These are usually delicious. It's a yummy golden corral, salty green bean. I like me some salt. Got some pot roast veggies. Cooked carrots, cooked onions, cooked celery. Yummy. Pot roast, smothered in gravy. Mmm. Oh man. One of my favorite items, get consistently. Mm. It's just a great gravy, and they're doing it well here today. Green beans, awesome. Veggies awesome, pot roast awesome. This is the smoked pork. Yeah. It's cold, I wouldn't get it again. I'll try a little barbecue sauce. I mean, the barbecue sauce tastes good, but that pork pork doesn't even taste smoked. So let's try this rib. This is a, a little knuckle end that I got. So this was from the little cut ones. Like I said, the ones that they cut for you are the better ones. They, uh, said more were coming so I'm gonna try a bite of this I'm just gonna immediately salt it as soon as it's gonna be mediocre all right not gonna lie this one's not very hot not great but that is a smoked rib guys the flavor is actually really good mmm oh, a little bit of that barbecue sauce a little sweetness better than I thought it'd be well, let's see other ones I'm excited about. All right, now the fried chicken. Again, this probably wasn't the absolute freshest, but let's see. So this one is, it's its hot, got some steam happening. Admittingly, it's, uh, it's not very crispy. The other day it was all really, really crispy. Maybe I got a bad piece. I mean, it tastes good. I'm gonna try my ketchup hot sauce mix right here. Dip it on in that, all the hot sauce. Pretty good. I'm gonna add some ghost pepper, spice it up a bit. Try that again. I like me and my sauce. I love all the flavors. Like I said, all the sodium. It ain't bad, but it ain't the level the other day. The other day was like, Every bite was mind blowing. All right, so this I'd almost call like a trial plate. This is kind of an interesting. And here they give you the stack of plates um, at the table, actually. So a lot of golden crowds, you just go grab them yourself, but not here. They're giving them at the table. I got me some fresh broccoli. They put out fresh Brussels sprouts. So normally I don't get the Brussels sprouts, but I got a fresh one because these are super buttery. Mm. Oh, wow. Not gonna lie, it is damn good. It tastes very good, but not calorie free. But you like some fresh cooked broccoli? Those green beans are on fire. 
I did get me a pickled cucumber salad. This is basically like Italian dressing. But the vinegar kind of pickles those cucumbers, pickles those onions, yeah, tomatoes. Then we got the fresh ribs. So these look different than I had the other day. These are definitely more caramelized, more cooked, but nonetheless, give it a shot. Okay, pretty damn good. Mm. Oh man, so they don't smoke them here on site by any means. Mm. Bro, they got a good flavor. Woo! They definitely sauced them, they put them on that grill. Once the other day, the bones were soft. These aren't that well cooked. Mm. Woo! Oh, that was a nice bite. Mm. Oh man. Extra fatty. My one component though, surprisingly, it's not as hot as I would have expected. For it to be a new rack, but not the level of the other night. I was a nice bite. Caramelized. I'm hoping for fresh fried chicken and fresh fish. I got myself a uh, cold salad, so basically some of the pickled uh, kind of salad we just had with a little bit of coleslaw. I got some extra just plain tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions underneath it. Then I got me some more ribs. I asked them to put on the grill for a second. Some more broccoli, some green beans were awesome. I did get a little more pot roast, and I got a piece of fried fish. I think I only took one because I'm gonna wait for them to, let's just say, bring some fresh ones out. I think it is one of those times where best to wait. So let me uh, let's try it though. I do love me this fried fish when it's hot. Yeah, I can tell this is hot. Uh, mm, mm. All right, actually it still tastes really good, but it's uh, when it's hot and fresh. Okay, I enjoyed that way more than I thought it would. That was a test, again, these are test plates for the little ones. Going back, get me some of that fried fish, and uh, we're gonna make sure it's some fresh one. Mm. That was so much better than I anticipated. Woo! And they're really not pumping out the fresh fried chicken. I like the other night. I will keep an eye out though, but I love these green beans. They're generally low calorie. There's a little bit of pork, a little bit of ham in it, but so much flavor from the brine. Hot roast. Still good. Now let's try this other rib. Even after a second on that grill. It's not as hot as I would have anticipated. But let's try this out. Mm. Not as good as the last one. So this is more from the center. The last one was a little more from the side. It's a little more like charred. You know ribs from the other night, that's for sure. So this is some super creamy coleslaw. We're gonna put the dressing on it, load it up. Mm. Cucumber tomato salads, guys. One thing I love. And just like that, they have the fresh fish, so I got myself three pieces. And it is crispy, and I put it on the turn plate because on this plate I got my wet items. Like, you know, you don't want your bean juices getting on your uh, lovely catfish. I also got a little piece of meatloaf because it was pretty fresh. Mm. Woo! That is a rich meatloaf, guys. I've had it varying degrees of richness before. That is on the rich end. And they do it in ketchup here. Some places they do it in a brown gravy, some places they do it in ketchup. Let's try this fish, the fresh fish. Mm. Yep, that's what I wanted. And I'm just gonna deck it on out. You can never get enough hot sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, hot. Crunchy. Mm. Fun fact, the location in Independence, Missouri was the first 
golden crow location I've ever seen with the uh, beer battered fish or like the more beer battered fish versus like this style like the corn meal and although here they have both which I did the other day they didn't have the corn like the fish of the other one which I tried it with the beer batter not the same it just doesn't seem like that southern fried catfish you know just not the same and they do have a tartar sauce Whew, that was a bite but I don't eat when you got hot sauce And apparently there's some more fried chicken coming, like fresh. So I got some more catfish in the meantime. Man, that's good. We do have some cocktail sauce, but I don't normally eat it on uh, southern fried fish. There's a little more rib that I just put out brand new. So this one's hot, but it looks pretty plain. So this is just a plain like uh, braised rib, not smoked like some of them, but it's hot and fresh. Meh. So while the fried chicken came out, they informed me that there's no more breasts, which are my favorite. So I did get a thigh, I'll try it out. Uh, green bean casserole and some green beans. So I didn't try the green bean casserole yet, but this is very rich, very creamy looking. Wow, that is a punch of flavor. It's in a roux, a bit of cheese, a bit of pork. These are also some fresh green beans. Well, let's try this chicken. Got some, the skin got some crunch to it. It is hot, it is fresh. And I'm not gonna lie. It is very tasty. Bits of that crispy skin. It is good. Got us some smart green beans. I did get another end bit of a rib that uh, was like the ribs they cut for you. I did want to give it another shot, give it another try, see if we get some redemption going. And did get some fruit, some cantaloupe and some melon, which of course I'm gonna have with my tahini. Try this rib out. So it is on a fresh rack. It is pretty hot. These ones are smoked. Mm. Okay, best rib of the night. You can almost eat the bone. But yeah, definitely the best rib of the night, guys. It is warm, it is juicy. I like better without the barbecue sauce. Put a little salt on there. Mm. Oh yeah. That was a money bite. Woo! Succulent fatty. Oh, and this one's so well rendered. Still not as good as the other night, but very good. Now if they were like that all night, I would have had a lot more. Got some fruit. Neither the cantaloupe or the honeydew is that great. So I'm gonna dump some tahini all over it. See what that's like. Mucho más. Much better. Oh, that was a good piece of cantaloupe. Mas mm. dulce. Very sweet. If you're not familiar, it's like chili salt. That was a good bite. But I love it on pineapple. We only got one plate left in our stack of the plates we started with. I think we started with eight, maybe? Eight or ten? Like I said, let's see what else I got. I'm gonna have another rib like that. That would be good. Maybe a piece of fried chicken. Otherwise, that's it. Green beans. Fresh piece of catfish, which is a big one. Oh yeah, nice and steamy. Pure money. Absolutely money. Woo, I wish they were all like that tonight. Hot dang, that's good. The best thing ever. 
some chicken. Not bad. And you make me some more mix though. Use all my special sauce. All right, this is gonna be it, really. I didn't even need this. Uh, a little more chicken, another piece of fish. Try that out. Mm. Woo! Basically, the chicken is just an excuse for me to eat hot sauce. Same as the fish. Puddle of it. So good. Yes. Essentially, I'm drinking fish in hot sauce soup. And I'm totally okay with it. Kind of makes me some sauce. I estimate there's roughly about 3,000 calories. I was keeping track pretty well, at least roughly. I estimate about 3,000. Didn't need that last piece of chicken, didn't need the last piece of fish, but. Now this is my one meal for the day, but normally when I'm at home, I don't eat like this. Like, I have way less protein, because proteins are very expensive. I have a lot more carbohydrates, a lot more fruit, probably less vegetables again. They're pretty pricey. Um, but these are foods that I like to eat when I come to buffets. I love meats, I love vegetables. I love fruits too. So yeah, that was about that. Um, this is definitely not the best Golden Corral ever. The other day we absolutely lucked out. Like, I'm serious, the other day was like the best, one of the best Golden Corral experiences ever. This one today was definitely not that. Um, not the worst, but definitely, definitely not the best. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I ate way too much, but what can I say? When you pick the lighter calorie options and or like, you know, take a piece of fried chicken, don't eat like the skin with it, for example, you make it lighter calories, less in calories. And because, and like then, if you eat less calories, you can eat more volume of food and still, you know, equate to the same amount of calories. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So we're on to the next time. Of course, I have a hunger, happy eating. Have a lovely day. Have a good day. And that's it. Just have some fun. Eat some food. Until next time, goodbye. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.